Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name's Brian, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Soul Nation. You will always be my warrior of light and darkness. That's what you get, by the way, for subscribing here on Ginger Prime, free titles and compliments at the start of my videos. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna be focusing in on this video as it relates to the Bojan Southern Front, the latest content to be introduced in patch 535. This is gonna be really focusing on get you started, how to level, what you should be doing, and absolutely there is a big gotcha mistake that I made and hopefully you don't do the same and that's unlocking your relic quest because that's going to be the key point in maximizing your efficiency whether you want to just work on the relic or you want to level up your resistance level in the game but let's go ahead and start really with the obviously the, the number one question where is it where's Gangos? how do I get started and you're going to have to complete the quest vow of virtue deeds of cruelty and also the quest the Bojan incident and fire in the forge However, if we just pull up the map here, if you teleport into the Dome and Enclave, which by the time you've done those quests, you will have the Dome and Enclave unlocked, make sure you hit these Aetherites as well, so that way you can open up a fast port. You can just teleport into <laughs> Dome and select the Aethernet and actually teleport right into Gangos. However, if you're just like for the first time trying to get there, you want to come talk to this airship pilot. You can see me right here in the ferry docks right by the airship pilot. If you use this one, that's gonna take you to the One River and back out of the Dome and Enclave. So you wanna to talk to the airship pilot and you wanna travel into Gangos, and this is where it's all going to begin. If you've already unlocked your relic, you've already done all of this, welcome to the area. You're going to need to focus in on a few things. Now, once you get into the zone, be sure to pick up and advance any quest possible. The important one is going to be a want for a memory. Do not sleep on this. You're gonna find lots of different characters that you need to talk to. Obviously, anything that's got a plus over its head, that's where you wanna focus, but be sure to do a want for a memory because that's gonna open up the ability to get your relic items to drop. If you don't, it, you don't even have to play the job. So I'm currently progressing on a white mage. However, I haven't done white mage. I've been 100% leveling as a bard in the Bojan zone. Note that I still have the drops there. Now, if you just don't care about Boja, you just want your most efficient relic possible, go and grind fates in out in the Heavensward zones. Each of the zones are gonna offer different drops and you're actually, as a part of the relic, just to kind of cover it here, you're gonna be looking for um, Tortured Memory of the Dying, Sorrowful Memory of the Dying, and Harrowing Memory of the Dying. You need to get 20 of these each to be able to advance the quest further for the relic weapon. These have a 100% drop out in the Heavensward zones. They don't have a 100% drop within Boja. And you might be like, well, why should I do that? Well, Boja is also giving me lots of experience on my board. It's also giving me lots of experience for my rank, uh, as well as different loot boxes and things like that. So there's a lot that's going on. And ultimately, I think they made the right choice in giving you the choice on what to do. So come out into the zone, talk to absolutely everybody. And then you want to talk to Sergios and enter into the front. It's a quick and instant pop. It does not matter what class and rank you are. As long as you're level 71 and above, you'll be able to participate in this content. And you can even change jobs within it as long as they are level 71 and above. So once you come in, your first introduction, you're gonna have quests within here. You should prioritize any and all quests as quickly as possible. This is gonna be what's gonna break down these invisible walls that you'll see throughout the area. Now, if we pull up the map, you're gonna find a wall here at the beginning, and that's just kind of talking to everybody, introducing you to your rank, how you rank up, what metal is, how you go to your resistance appraiser, and how you manage your lost finds clash, 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 coo -coo -coosh. So if I talk to him, I can say, a praise forgotten fragments. This is how you're going to get your skills. Just to kind of highlight these two. It's basically a role. It's going to say, hey, you got this and you can kind of next through it. Then from here, you go into your lost finds cache and you can find all the things that you've unlocked and you can equip these into your holster. So if I could do so, etc. Now I have things in my holster. And then for my holster, let me go ahead and say confirm. <laughs> and then for my holster, which I can use, you can obviously use your mouse to click, but if you are a controller player, just pressing the select button will bring you in to this little UI, which is dr completely draggable, by the way. I just kind of have it down here in the right-hand corner. You could say lost finds holster. And from here, you can then choose to equip it into your left or right trigger. So in this case, left trigger and click on the right stick is gonna use protect, right trigger and right stick is going to use cure. That's what I've got uh, equipped and you can see here, you can kind of pick and choose from here. Items themselves actually can be dragged and dropped onto your hotbar. So it's very easy and convenient to be able to do all of that. So the other thing you wanna pay attention to is the resistance recruitment. You can see all the different basically critical engagements that are underway. As you play, as you kind of run out into the zone, you're gonna run into the option for critical engagements 
be sure to get this done. You can see the large scale assault for the Castrum of uh, Latis Latori. That's the rank 10. This only That only lock, unlocks once you hit rank 10. And the question is, is why would you wanna hit rank 10? Well, every time you rank up, you increase the overall metal that everything drops. So let's talk about the zones here because we've kind of you've gone in and you've unlocked and you've got this what we're going to call a lane. You have three lanes within the zone: lane one, lane two, and lane three. Lane one's going to drop your tortured uh, relic item. So as you're doing things down here, that's where you want to go and farm tortured. So a fate just popped. Um, this is going to be something you go run and grab and do. Uh, as you unlock the different gates at level five and at level eight, uh, or rank eight, excuse me, that's gonna open up more of the zone lines themselves and you have different Aethernaut shards that you can easily teleport to get around the zones themselves. The fates, they pop up pretty quickly, but what you can tend to do, especially when you're in the early levels, you can kind of stay here in center mass so that way from this lane, you can run left and right and you'll be able to get to the fates as quickly as possible. Now, once you kind of open up the gates, you'll find that you'll, you'll tend to see what you can run to. You can use the return to be able to jump back in anything here and then obviously port to any of the other areas that you unlock as you unlock them. So uh, you're also, during the game, you're gonna get various lock boxes. If you've done any of the previous content within Final Fantasy, you're gonna see these before. You can go ahead and roll on these and it's just gonna let you unlock all kinds of different loot and items. And, um, and you can see I'm just kind of nexting all the way through it. I can go ahead and close. And thus, it's just gonna have these different items for me. These are rewarded at just as natural. You can't trade them, but the items that contain within can be traded. One of the mistakes I made and why I really stress that you wanna make sure you have the war, uh, a want for a memory is because I was getting these Bojan crystals and these clusters. You can actually purchase like a priority deployment to critical engagements for five clusters if you so choose, or you have the cluster shop in which that you can see different things that you can purchase. The mount being 180 clusters. And of course, as my playtime right now, I am not at that. You can see other things that you can purchase as well. And in this case, caution and ingenuity different skills to open up you can actually purchase those for one cluster so clusters are important but they don't have a hundred percent drop rate for some reason um, when it happens it's exciting it's got that wonderful um uh you know pop-up that you've seen uh before if you've done any of the relics it's kind of beautiful on the screen uh, you can go from there. So we've talked about unlocking the different uh, the different lanes. We've talked about the skirmishes and we talked about critical engagements and how to instigate them. There are multiple different kinds of bosses. They have lots of different kinds of mechanics. Uh, honestly, it, in a way, they almost kind of deserve their own little guide. We're not going to be doing like, here's how you beat this. We've done, uh, there's some definitely challenge, challenging ones. The red chocobo one is incredibly tough, but incredibly rewarding. And essentially after a critical engagement there is a chance to to be in a duel and it's going to prompt you for that it when you do these resistance recruitments uh when it, you do queue up for these it's going to ha allow you to uh, for more than 48 people to actually uh, queue up for that encounter and with that with those uh with those people queued up it will take whoever it has so if you get 64 people queued up for 48 uh, combatant entry uh, period note that it's only going to take 48 and it's going to roll on that based off your participation in the zone itself that's how you're going to do it one of the reasons why from my perspective as a leveling perspective that i choose bar that i choose this is a i need the experience and overall the experience is definitely worth it again if you're just here for the relic you can still go level a bard like while working on another you know like relic weapon the flexibility that they have given you is really great. So if this is something you don't feel like you need to do, then don't worry about it. Just, you know, play and have fun, etc. Anytime you can rank up in the UI, it's going to have a nice little color scheme to it. The uh, past rank five, it's when you'll actually lose metal, but you won't lose your rank. You can't rank down in terms of the battle itself. So just note that as you rank up, you want to increase that metal. If you're just starting out and doing the first thing, I would say just go ahead and stay out here for a little bit get enough points, you don't actually spend your metal. It just keeps accruing and accruing and accruing. And then essentially once you hit the kind of the threshold, it then allows you to rank up and go from there. Hopefully this has been a help and this gets you uh, into the content, either working on your relic or experiencing Boja and getting yourself ranked up. If you're just talking about efficiency, make use of the teleports, make use of hitting at least the targets as best as you can. It's more important to get just like a fate, get that engagement. Now, at the same time, if you come into the zone and you just zone in single player, just note to make do a shout, let people know you're looking for a party. Most likely you're gonna get a party invite because there are strength in numbers. 
Again, I think I can't stress enough, rank up as often as possible. That way you can open up more of the zone. That opens up more critical engagements. That opens up faster ways to get the materials that you need. And if you don't find this content engaging, go run fades out in heaven's word guys if you have any questions comments let me know in the comments below and yeah and if this is a video that gets you to hit that subscribe button let me know as well so i can welcome you officially to the soul nation i'm gonna wrap up and say i hope you have the best of days i hope you enjoy the new content within final fantasy 14 and i hope to see you in my next video but until then take care this video is sponsored by me ginger prime hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel ginger gaming radio which we have lots of guests lots of great conversations and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.